G'day everybody, Tin Man here. Just banged up a little window motor today. So, very simple setup. This coil is the bifilar coil running the trigger. The coil on the back is our generator coil, which is hooked up to this LED with many LEDs in it. Don't know how many. I've also got thousand ohms, it's about 1100 ohms of resistance on the back because the voltage is a little too high for this, this is a little 6 volt um, one you buy from the $2 shops or whatever so that little generator at the back on full RPM puts out about 26 volts so I've put um, 1100 Ohms of resistance on the back as well. So, little generator there. That coil drives our light. As you can see, nice and bright. Um, doesn't make any difference to our amp or whether it's on or off. In fact, it actually goes down, which is pretty good. So about uh, 110 milliamps there, going into it at the moment, putting 56 back into the batteries, I have the meter hooked up back to front, that's why it's reading negative. Uh, the battery's got 25.24 volts in them at the moment, going up, we're running on 24 volts. Uh, we have a fan stuck on the front. Thing will pull about 16,000 RPMs um, at the moment. We're sitting on about 7,900. But this little baby sings. I'll give her a spin up. Our little setup at the moment. round magnet in the middle on the shaft it's simply one of these hole in it it's diametrically magnetized so not through the height it's across half is north and half is south and works very well Gee, maybe I'll kit them up and sell them good old 2N3055 standard SSG circuit and she goes very nice if I 
Tanner. Here's the interesting bit. This is a 10k pot, turned right down to the full 10k, plus our 100 ohms there. Um, you can see here, I've got me a bit of reflective tape to do our RPMs. That's actually self oscillating at the moment, it's drawing somewhere between 20 and 30 milliamps. And we're putting 34 milliamps at 25.24 volts back into the battery. So works as a self oscillator turned right down or as a Bedini SSG window motor setup um, when you turn the pot up. So as you can see, we unplug it. Of course it stops, nothing going in anywhere. And this thing sometimes starts up by itself when we plug it in. Sometimes. Just not this time. Yeah, I nearly did. Carry itself oscillating now. If I start it the other way, it actually keeps the motor cool. over the coils and a lot here as well so that's our little setup at the moment just a simple window motor probably about three hours working it all up very fast shifts a lot of air charging rates pretty average but we're also able to drive another load off the generator coil as well so there you go guys, cheers from the Tin Man.